Hello and welcome to Let's Learn. So today we'll be talking about the summary of um, the new syllabus KSSM for, for Form 4 Maths and um, we'll be covering chapter 2 which is number basis. Alright, so basically number basis it's like counting but instead of 1 to 10 um, the maximum number is based on the base. Right, so like in this case the base is 6. So when you reach 6, uh, it's like reaching 10, where you have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and then 6 is here, which re is represented by a 1 here. Right, that means uh, 10 in the base of 6 would actually mean 6 plus 0, which is 6. Right? So, uh, it's, uh, it's actually something really fun. Um, you can get confused if, you know, you do it too fast or you do too, too much of it. Right? Um, I actually learned this by myself after I finished uh, my Form 3 and I had nothing to do. And it was tough because it's something new to me and I didn't ask any teachers. I just um, borrowed a workbook from the library and it took me about a month. Yeah, something about a month to, you know, uh, be able to do this but not really understanding. And you know, finally when I went up to Form 4, uh, I did ask my teachers. Uh, and yeah, my math teacher was fantastic. Uh, shout out to you, Depon Wu. Uh, she she was very strict, but she explained it, and I was like, oh wow, that's what I need right now. That finally I understand what's going on, right? So, <clears throat> uh, if you're converting something, uh, a base of something to something else, the easiest way would be you change that number to base of ten, which is our normal numbers, right? We count to 10. And then, you know, it's like 10, 100. And then from there, we convert it to the new base that we want. So in this case, it is um, from base 6, which is 253 base 6. And we need to convert it to something in base 9. Alright, so what we have to do is the 253 Because it's base 6, now the lowest number always starts with 6 to the power of 0, which is the 1s. And then 6 to the power 1 and 6 to the power 2. Just like our numbers, right? Uh, we have 10 to the power 1, sorry, 10 to the power 0, 10 to the power 1, 10 to the power of 2, and so on. So that is 1, 10, 100,000, right? So with this, 1 times 3 is equals to 3, right? And then this is 6. 6 times 5 is equals to 30. And then 6 squared is 36. 36 times 2 will be equals to 72, right? And then we add all of this up to get 105. And this is in our normal number, our base 10, okay? Then with this, We try to divide it by 9. Okay, so 105 divided by 9. We have 1 here, right? And then there's 15, another 9. So that means we have a 6, right? Remainder 6. Okay, then you divide by 9 again. So that's 1 with a remainder 2. Divide by 9 again becomes 0 with a remainder 1. Okay, and we read it. This is the catch here. From the bottom up. So, our 105 base 10, which is also our 253 base 6, is 126 base 9. Alright, remember, when you have to convert from 1, base to another 
change it to our normal numbers first, which is the base 10. And then only we change it to the new base. Okay? Alright, so down here they have convert a number in base 2 to base 8 and vice versa. Okay? So what they have done here is that from base, okay, 8 is 2 to the power of 3, right? So that's why you see there are 3 of them, because uh, if it's 8, then it will be 1, 0 in base 8, alright? So what happens is, it will become 3 of this is equals to this number right here. And then the next tree will be the next number in base 8. Alright, so if it's to base 4, then it will be 2 to the power 0 and 2 to the power 1 will be the first number in base 4. Alright, because this one will be 3. And then you have 2 to the power 2 and 2 to the power 3 will be the second number in the base 4. Alright, as long as the powers are related. If I see, okay, let's say even if it's 16, alright, 16 will be 2 to the power 4. So that means, instead of adding up 2 to the power 0 to 2 to the power of 2, then it will be 2 to the power of mm, 0 to 2 to the power of 3. And then 2 to the power of 4, and 2 to the power of 8. Alright, I hope you, you, you understand what I mean here. Okay. Uh, this is not helping at all. Uh, okay, let, let me show you. Hmm, do I have more paper? I might need more paper. Yeah, I'll just go take some later when I need them. Okay, so like this one, 110111 base 2, right, and we are changing it to something, something base 8. Okay, so because 8 will be to the power 3, so we take this tree to be in the first number of base 8 and the next tree to be the second number of base 8. So this is uh, 1. Then this would be 2. And this is 4. Right, so that one would be 7. And over here, because again, we have 8 to the power of 0, which are the 1s, and then 8 to the power of 1, which are the 8s, right? Then here is 0, then this is, uh, uh, now I know why they're doing this, right? This is actually 2, 1, 2, 4. 8, 16, 32. Alright, so 32 plus 16 is actually 48. 48 is 6 times 8, which is here, 6. And here is 7. So now, okay, now I get it as to why they're making 0, 1, and 2. So they're doing this so that you don't have to do 48 and then times how many you get the 6 and base 8. Alright? But that is the basic concept is that is why it's like this okay so you can even do it for 16 if you want to um, yes we have uh, 16 base 16 um, for computing as well as for engineering um, is what we call hexadecimals all right they are actually quite fun okay so that's another example. I'm not going to do that anymore. 
because um, you know from this you should be able to understand all right now let's look at computation involving addition and subtraction so when is base 2 remember if you have 110 and 111 both are base 2 and you add them up all right so 0 plus 1 is 1 now when is a base 2 your numbers will never touch 2 it can only be anything smaller than 2 which are positive or 0 all right so 1 plus 1 it's 2 so when is 2 this will become a 0 and you add a 1 on top all right and a 1 plus 1 plus 1 is 3 remember 2 will be brought forward so 3 minus 2 is 1, so you're left with 1 over here. And that is your new number, right? That's your answer right there. So changing bases. Um, we did that earlier, right, with this one. And then vertical form. <laughs> oh, basically it's just subtraction. Right, so we have 6, 2, 4, 1, base 7, minus 6, 1, 3, base 7. Okay, so 1, I cannot take away 3. When I borrow 1 from the 4, instead of plus 10, it is plus 7, because that's the maximum for base 7. Uh, no, sorry. It's not maximum of the base 7, but um, 1 from the so-called 10s in this case is a 7 for the 1s all right so now it's 8 minus 3 so it's 5 okay then 3 minus 1 normal 2 2 minus 6 now we have to borrow another one so the 6 becomes a 5 and you add 7 to your 2 all right so now it's 9 minus 6 so it's 3 and then you have 5 base 7 always remember to write the base okay especially when you know you're doing this if it's just uh, other topics you don't need to write the base but if it's this topic please write the base even if it's base 10 all right because eh, some teachers still be like oh what base is this i don't know what base is this no it's wrong i'm not giving you the marks all right so just to be careful write down the base okay now if it's too complicated you can always convert it to base 10 first do your normal uh, minusing, which you can do it with your calculator, right? And then only convert it back to the base. So that's what they're doing in these two parts. But to me, uh, you know, it's, it's a waste of time, right? If both have the same bases, you don't have to convert them. You can minus them. Just be careful, right? Especially when, you know, you're borrowing. But if they're of a different base, Please just change them to base 10 and change it back to whatever um, base that the question wanted. Alright, if they don't mention anything, then depending on which base you leave it, the teacher should accept your answer because they did not say which base they want the answer in. Alright, so read the question carefully and understand it. Maths or I should say almost every subject is like that. Read the question carefully, understand what they want, and then give to them what they want. Alright, so that's the end of chapter 2. I hope the summary has helped, right? And remember to subscribe, uh, click on the thumbs up and the bell button, right, to receive any notifications of new uh, videos. And remember, share this with your friends. You're not losing anything. Alright, it's free and you can always come back to watch it. Alright, I hope uh, you're able to understand and see you again in the next video.